In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can control every scene in Synesthesia using this one controller that I made in Touch OSC. You'll need a Synesthesia Pro license and Touch OSC installed on the device you'll be using as your touch interface. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using Touch OSC and Synesthesia on Windows 11. Open your Synesthesia settings, scroll down to OSC, and turn on input and output. You can leave your input port and output port alone. That's fine, unless you need to change them yourself. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna leave output address alone. If you need to send the output address to another device, you would set this uh, IP address to that device. You can turn on output audio variables. You can change output control var values to output normalized values. And we want to change control address format to global addresses. Now that we're set up in Synesthesia, open Touch OSC and go into your connections. Next, we want to set a connection to the device that's running Synesthesia. For this tutorial, that's going to be the same device that's running Touch OSC. So I'm going to write the loopback address. And now if you're unsure what the send and receive port is, you can go into Synesthesia, open your settings, and we can see that our output port is 7000. So we want to make our receive port in, in Touch OSC 7000. And our input port in Synesthesia is 6000. So we want to make our send port in Touch OSC 6000. Now that we set up all of our connections, we're ready to use the controller. You can press the play button here to start using it. At first glance, you're not gonna see any labels or anything. Um, that's because Synesthesia hasn't sent any new scene information out. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the MIDI mapping scene. Here we have our bangs, toggles, sliders, knobs, and individual XY. Down here we have a shift click. So if you were to hold your finger on that and uh, one of the knob slider or XY controls, you would have finer control. Um, another area where you can use this type of button is right here on top of the audio analysis. If for some reason your scene needs more than six bangs or eight toggles, um, you can use extra controls here, which adds two controls for every set of control type. Uh, extra controls also gives us the scene banks where we can lock, randomize, set the default or undo uh, for our scene. Or you can use my new favorite button that they added in Synesthesia is the new preset OSC address. So if you were to tap on that, uh, it would create a new preset right here in Synesthesia with the timestamp. And that shift button gets moved to right up here. Uh, with extra controls, that eliminates our XY pad to give, the, give us that real estate um, so if we want to use our XY pad again without going back and forth from extra controls and not extra controls, we can also use XY mode, which gives us two large XY pads on the left and right, and a selector down here to choose our set of XY pads. And you also have four banks here. Over here we have our media select. Um, in Synesthesia, media is kind of already pre-indexed, so I have a radio button here to where you can select your media based on its uh, location in the media folder in Synesthesia. Um, and for the uh, custom mapping for your own media, we'll get into that later in this tutorial. Under Scenes, uh, very much similar to media, except it's not pre-indexed. And I also have all of the built-in scenes here added for you. 
So if we wanted to just select a new scene, we could see behind us there that our controls are updating. Here we have playlists. We can do shuffle, auto transition, do play forward, play previous, and pick our different playlists if we want. If you want to play your playlist, you can press the play button here, which isn't actually located in the playlist menu itself. Here we have meta controls, where we can lock individual groups. And we can also randomize. And if your scene has drop downs, you can use that right here in the menu. Here we have our flavor slots. Um, right now in Synesthesia, there's no uh, name output for fave slots. So you can see here what that looks like. So for right now, there's no name here. You'll just have to use that. Customize your media scenes and playlists. I recommend using the desktop version of Touch OSC to make your edits. Head into the Touch OSC editor, and on the right hand side, you'll see the document tree. Expand it if it's not already and make your way to the type you'd like to map, which would be called Playlist Scenes or Media. Now that it's expanded, select the control, change the name, and some scripting will handle the rest. So all we want to do here is change this group name to whatever the scene name is. So if you're unsure of what to make the name, go into Synesthesia, click on the OSC button, go into your scene library, click on the scene you want to name, or rather the scene you want to trigger. So we can see right here that this is Exoplanet. And all you want to do is change this name. All right, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.